now let's talk about the toys. See, if you get the right toys, this could be a big deal uh, for you and for your dog. Now, I should probably get a sponsorship from the Kong uh, or the company that makes Kong. I use them so much in all my videos, so Kong, if you're listening. Um, but th these are my favorite toys. This is a big Kong that I use for my German Shepherd. It's our, his main toy, right? You can stuff treats in it. I love it. They can chew on it. We can play fetch with it. So that's a good one. And then we have these small Kongs, which I use for like my Border Collie. Even my miniature Schnauzer can grab and, and play with these. And they're so, they're about 15 bucks, but these are great because you can play fetch with them. You can leave them in their crate and they can chew on them. So you get two for one on that. So those are great. And then what you want to do is get a good tug. I got this from Ross. I don't know if they still have them there, but it's actually jute material, which is what they use in protection work. And uh, this was only $3 at Ross. So this is great. Any kind of ropes, they sell a lot of ropes um, at uh, PetSmart. So you can choose any rope, that way you could play tug with them. So those are very important as well because the right toys can help you exercise your dog properly. Isn't that right, Whiskey? Now, let's talk about brushes really quick. I got a Border Collie, so I use just a normal metal brush like this. And I don't gotta tell you to get a brush, right? That like kind of makes sense. Get whatever brush fits your dog's hair. But the one reason I wanted to bring this up is I use the Furminator religiously. I love this tool. It prevents so much shedding and so much hair around my house. You know, if, if uh, you don't want hair flying everywhere, this is the tool to get. Now they're about 50 bucks. You can get them at PetSmart as well. But oh my gosh, they are so awesome. I don't want to show you here because then we'll get hair everywhere. But this is a winner, okay? Especially if you've got a shedding dog like a Border Collie, right? Next, I want to show you two things. Obviously, you want to get shampoo for your dog. And Whiskey hates to take a bath, which is interesting because he loves the water. So if I open up the pool gate, he'll go lay in the water. But if I bring out the soap, he's like a kid. He runs and hides. And uh, he showed me by chewing my bottle. So anyway, uh, you want to get a good shampoo because if they come from a rescue or shelter, if they're not pre-bathed, then man, they are going to smell and you're going to do that. Now, if you know me or watched any of my videos, I'm a huge, huge advocate of exercising your dog. And when you do that, they come back and sometimes they smell like a what? A dog. Okay. So um, I use this. It's a waterless shampoo by guess who? Kong. Right, and anytime we go exercise or I go to put my dog in the car, I just spray the dog, you know, rub it on, wipe it down, and he smells fresh and clean. So these are a life saver, life saver. Um, so you wanna get this because if you're active with your dog, which I hope you are, you're gonna use a lot of that. And here's another one I got from PetSmart. It's, or no, no, I think I got this from Target. It's Eco Me, and I use this a lot as well. It's really well. Um, uh, really well done. It really takes the odor out. So those are the two things um, you're going to want to get if you're active with your dog. So those are the basic needs. We went over uh, a couple of different things. We went over what collars, what leashes, what type of brush. I'm going to encourage you to get the Furminator for your dog. And then we went over shampoos and supplies and things like that. Now, one thing that we didn't talk about are crates. You're going to need a crate for your dog, but I have a crate video that teaches you how to size a crate. So I'll leave it to that video and show you how to do that as well. So I hope this video helps. And remember, get all of this before you go get your dog. Don't come home with a stinky dog and then try to use human shampoo on them, okay? Uh, get this before you go get or adopt a rescue or a shelter dog. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video.